Folks, so this is free weight session five. This is gonna be um, the free weight session every Friday for the month of October, okay? So starting with station one is cable curls, okay? So you're gonna stay nice and close to the cables. Your elbows are under your shoulders. You're gonna curl up, pause, and then slowly lower back to the start position. 12 reps on the cable curls. Watch one more rep. We're gonna curl up, make sure the pause at the top, and you're slowly lowering back to the start position. That's gonna be super set with a tricep. Press down, okay? So again, for the tricep press downs, you're gonna stay nice close to the cables. Your elbows are under your shoulders. You're gonna press down, pull the rope apart, pause it, and then slowly come back to the start position. Just bringing the forearm in line with the elbow. 12 reps on tricep press downs. So the super set, as soon as you finish one movement, you're going straight on to the next movement, okay? Then we're gonna go on to chest support row. So the next station is our um, three exercises, 30 30s, we've got 10 reps of each exercise, okay? So the first one is chest support and rolls, okay? So when you're doing the chest support and roll, you're gonna start high on the bench. So maybe your feet are wide, then you're gonna come back to where your chest um, is on the bench, okay? From there then, roll your shoulder blades back and down. You're gonna pull the weights up, and then slowly lower back down to your elbows. Your arms are fully extended, your elbows are locked down. Up, pause, release back down, then to the start position. Okay, and when you're done, you just drop the weights down thing and just watch my start position again. I have the feet up here and the chest is on the bench. Don't start low where your chin um, is on the bench, okay? Then next one is renegade rolls. So the renegade roll, you've got two weights. You're gonna go into a tall plank position. You go into a tall plank position, your core is tight. You're gonna roll up, pause, release back down. You straight away go onto your shoulder, okay? You gotta do five reps on each side on the renegade rolls. Make sure your hips um, are rocking. Lock your hips in and roll the weights up. Then we've got that pull down. There should be weights on. On this, you're gonna blame me. Okay, come on, that one. Two hands over the bar. You're gonna pull down into your upper chest, lean back slowly, pull your shoulder blades back in down before slowly returning to the start position. Just watch where I finish, lean back slightly, pull into your upper chest before I come back to the start position, okay? 10, 10, 10 on those, and then repeat. Next up, we're gonna get three as that model. For this one, so um, assisted chin ups, okay? So he's gonna use the band, put his foot in to the band, then he's gonna grip the bar, his hands slightly wider than shoulder width. I'm gonna help him, um, give me someone in the class, I want the trainers, we'll pull the box away. You're gonna pull up over the chin over the bar, slowly come back down, okay? Good, keep going, do two or three more reps. So the band is assistingly um, in the pull up, okay? Then when he's come back down, I'm just gonna move the box in there. And I'm going to help them off with the okay? Um, that'll be six reps, as we explained um, in a couple of the earlier videos for the free weight sessions. We're going to do chin ups in every session, and we're going to set that goal of trying to get one full body weight chin up. If you've got one full body weight chin up, set a target of five, so on, 10, 15. And we've got a lot of different variations to help you with the chin ups as well. Then the next one, we're on to a kneeling landmine press. This is going to be a 20 rep exercise. Today, so you're going to hold the, the landmine in close to your chest. You're going to press away and then come back down. Make sure you keep your core tight, press away from your body, come back in. 20 reps on the knee lift, landmine press. Then we're on the press ups, okay? So we're going to do arm wraps. So basically, as many reps as you can do in one minute. The trainer will set a timer for you, or just grab your phone, set it out in front of you. As many press ups as you can do in a minute. I um, was very impressed, Ashley McCabe inside, got 40 press-ups, um, full press-ups, not for the knees, 40 press-ups. Um, so that's the female record for starting point from last week, um, and we'll set a record for the males and try to beat it, okay? So your press-up technique, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width, come down towards the floor, and you're gonna press back up through the palm of your hands. Make sure you take a deep breath in, brace up your abs, and push the floor away. If you need to go to your knees and do your arm wrap for your knees, that's fine as well, okay? Then we're over, back over to Lee. New exercise. Okay, we'll move step back with the camera right back. We're we'll calling these Frankenstein walks, okay? So we all have a forward raise where you raise up, lock the shoulders in. It's going to be out in the hallway, and you're going to walk up and back. That's it. Good job. Now you're going to go back with them. The hallway a bit longer where Lee is. Good. Just about to start struggling there. I'll come back. So then we don't want to light weights. I think Lee has fives there, so then we don't want kind of fours and twos. So that one will be out outside. When we're done on the press-up station, um, we'll come on to the 
uh, front foot elevated split squat, okay? So one foot is on the box, chest up, you're going to go down. The idea of having the foot on the box is that you use the range of motion. So you're going all the way down where your, your knee kisses the floor, okay? So very, very softly on the floor and then back up, okay? So down, almost touch the floor and then drive back up, okay? That's going to be super set and weird tempo squats, okay? So again, holding your weight out in front of your chest, slowly come down and then drive up, okay? So count anywhere between four to five seconds on the way down to the bottom position and then drive up, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, and then drive up, okay? 60 time, paired up with 12 tempo squats, okay? That's three weight session five.